What is PRP? PRP or platelet-rich plasma is a therapy that involves using patient's blood and then going through a process that would separate and concentrate the platelets into a small volume of serum. So getting rid of white blood cells, red blood cells, and really just focusing on the platelets. Platelets have to function, stop bleeding, and also they're responsible for healing. PRP has been around for decades. Originally, the orthopedic doctors used it for speeding up the healing of athletes, um, whether they have joint problems or ligament tears, and kind of speed up the process and get them back on the field. And since then, PRP has been used in um, several specialties involving, you know, hair restoration, dentistry, um, cosmetic dermatology. And um, since 2015, we've actually started using PRP for reproductive health. The idea is the platelets are packed with growth factors. And once activated, the growth factors um, will go to work and will start kind of remodeling and rebuilding tissues and increase blood flow and oxygen so that the health and an environment within a particular organ will improve dramatically. The premise with the ovaries is that the ovaries are organs that show sign of aging very early um, in women. And so uh, what could help with the restoring the function and the health and restoring that niche that was so favorable for fertility and equality uh, when patients were younger or for patients who respond poorly to um, ovarian stimulation. Um, also patients who have premature ovarian insufficiency, early menopause or early perimenopause. Um, essentially, those are patients who really um, make up almost a quarter of the patients who are seeking fertility. And we have been pretty much stuck in, you know, their options are either kind of you know, repeating different IVF protocols and trying different things and tweaking things to see if we potentially can get an improvement in the outcome uh, with, with, you know, mostly poor results versus, okay, stopping the whole process of IVF and going to egg donation. Uh, for patients who don't feel like they're exhausted, their chances of using their own eggs or are not ready for the egg donation, um, then what can be done instead of just kind of continuing this cycle of, you know, IVF um, and for outcome. Things like lifestyle modification and, you know, a plethora of add-ons and supplements and things, things like Shockey, um, you know, growth hormones, um, ubiquinol, DHEA, they have very poor data that indicates really significant benefits for these patients. So the idea of PRP is to go and, and try to fix the problem or restore the function of the ovaries. We have seen really good results with PRP. It's not for everyone, so not every single patient will get significant benefit. It's actually elusive up till now who are the patients gonna benefit from PRP because sometimes patients who are younger with better ovarian reserve um, and good obstetrical history, sometimes you could think that those are the patients who had, you will get most benefit, uh, but it's, it's really not, you know, universal. But there is evidence that at a minimum, there's increased follicular count, there, the AMH is improved, um, the FSH kind of tend to start trending down. So for most patients, there is benefit. Will that benefit translate into um, good clinical outcome that is just depends on patients and like anything it just um, varies from one patient to the other.